morning. It's Sunday morning and we're at the Nant Parish uh, Park and Ride car park. And today we're going to go up to um, Penwai Pass and we're going to do Cribgock and uh, carry on round through the Snowden Horseshoe. So uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a really nice day today. Uh, it's supposed to be like 17 degrees, sun and no real wind to speak of. So uh, should be good. So uh, yeah, just waiting for the uh, Sherpa bus to turn up. Um, it's literally like park here for five pounds. Now I think the bus is like £2.50 or £3 each way, so uh, yeah, get dropped off and you don't have to worry about booking the car park up at the uh, up at the pass. So um, yeah, I'll come back to you when we're uh, when we're up there. All right, cheers. Right, morning. So we've just been dropped off at the Penny Pass, Penny Pass, um, and we're just making our way up the pig track, uh, which Cribgock is um, just off the pig track somewhere so uh, we just head up and uh, look for a little cairn and a sign um, yeah and we'll go from there this is the uh, Lamberish Pass down there conditions are supposed to be quite good for today so uh, hopefully that's true and we'll uh, have a nice day. So uh, yeah, I'll come back to you later on. Cheers. Right, so here we are at the start of Cribgok. Sign there. As you come up the uh, pig track, there's a little path to the right hand side which isn't signposted as anything. Um, it's very easy to go straight on if you weren't, uh, if you weren't careful. So, uh, I checked the map and uh, yeah, saw this was the way. So uh, this that is where we're heading up there. So whew, let's see if it's as scary as everybody makes out. I'm sure it's got it's got its reputation for a reason. So uh, let's uh, let's get going and uh, come back to you later on. Uh, so he, here we are just making our way up uh, Cribgok, Cribgok. Uh, just a little scrambly bit up here nothing compared to what's in front of us hidden up here you can see some people up there already it's, it's uh, classed as a grade one grade one scramble uh, yeah we'll uh, see how it goes um, you got Snowden over there, you got the lake, lake down there, you got the pig track there, which continues on, which is, and then you got the miners track over there, coming coming around here, which will be the route back down, if we if we make it up there, <laughs> we'll see. Right, that's me up the first proper scrambly bit, and just over the back here is where we're heading now. So, uh, got a bit of company, so uh, I'm not on my own. So it's always uh, a bit reassuring. It's always a bit worrying when you come out and do stuff on your own, and uh, you're worried something might happen. But at least if there's other people around, um, you got a bit of backup. So, uh, right, let's get going. first proper view of the ridge apparently it's about 500 meters 
long so obviously this is just a small section of it uh, fogs are starting to come in as well and at least we won't be able to see the uh, might not be able to see the drops so uh, yeah let's, let's wander over there <sighs> Looks like there's a little bit of wetness on the rocks, so uh, they might be a little bit slippery in places. Uh. Right, let's put you away for now and uh, get on the ridge.
direction I think maybe up here looks the best route so, give it a go I've got nobody to follow, so it's not picking the route myself. Uh, a cool breeze blowing through there. come from if you can make it out in the fog at least when it's jagged like this there's plenty of footholds and handholds to get hold of just uh, just got to make sure they're not uh, not loose last thing you want to do is grab hold of something and have it come away in your hand or give way under your foot so. right what's in store for us next ah, it doesn't look too bad he says dun, dun, dun. Go, go, go! So you could in theory go down there but that'd be too straightforward.
right I think that's the worst of that so we'll finish that there and then uh, yeah it's come back to you when we get up there there we are just looking back on Cribgok actually looks worse looking back on it than actually coming over it but it always does so uh, yeah I don't know if that's the worst part of it because this this just looks like a normal path just heading up here so that might be I don't know come back in a bit so that was Cribgok uh, finished it without even realizing reached the summit without even realizing it was only when it got to this bit I thought well oh, it doesn't look too bad that's uh, turned around and looked back and that was Cribgok so uh, now we just make our way up up here quite a straightforward path from here so I think all the adventures all the, all the excitement all the excitement is over now so yeah a nice little view down there nice green lake uh, yeah let's get going so looks like the scrambling's not quite over and done with yet we have to make our way up here uh, looks like the route is around the side here and up there so let's go Again, uh, standing at 1046 meters. So there's me at the top of Snowden. Didn't have to come up here, but thought, while I'm up here, I might as well just come up, go to the summit. Uh, it's very popular up here, very touristy. People taking their pictures up on the up on the top, but that's, that's what Snowden is. So uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all three peaks done. So now we just head back down to the miners' path and uh, make our way back down. <laughs> 